Welcome back to day two of module four, lesson three, where we continue our study of dividing decimals. For this day, you're gonna be working in Desmos using a prepared lesson that they already have for us. We're gonna start off by looking at a problem like this. This is actually the first problem. The link is in your Canvas page where we have 1.4 divided into 0.35 sections, also known as 1 and 4 tenths divided by 34 hundredths. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our big section and we're going to drag it down until it's 1.4. Then we're going to grab the middle part of our little pieces and we're going to grab it down until it matches, which is right there. And it shows that if you were to take it into, um, actually, no, we need 0 0.35 sections. So we're not there yet. We're only at 0 0.7. So we're going to need to drag it down some more. Keep going, keep going, and boom, right there, you have 0 0.35 sections. So how many times does 0 0.35 divide into 1 and 4 tenths? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and your answer that you would end up putting here is 4. Now, after you do it here, it says to solve it on your paper using the standard algorithm and record the value of your quotient below. So you're gonna be taking and showing your work here. And what I'm gonna have you actually turn in for me is gonna be your written work on lined good notes paper. So there's gonna be a number of problems. There's a total of 16 slots slide, excuse me, that you're going to work on here where they're going to have you playing with them using the toy for Desmos and you're going to actually have to work them out on paper. And we worked them out on paper yesterday to show you how it worked, but let's get a real quick review on that. So we're going to take and give ourselves a new flip chart. And on this flip chart, let's go ahead and do our page width. Now we had 1.4 was our first number. So it's going to be the number that goes in the house and it's going to divide into 0 0.35 sections. But I forget we're not doing these as decimals. We're working them as whole numbers. So what they have taught us to do is to take your 1 and 4 tenths and your 35 hundredths. Your largest decimal place is 100. So we're going to take and multiply by 100 on the top and 100 on the bottom, which is going to move the decimal in both parts two spaces to the right. So now I have 140 divided by 35. <clears throat> that means I can fix this part here and get rid of that. And let's make that right a little bit neater there. So now I have 140 divided by 35. 140 is your dividend. It goes in the house. 35 is your divisor. It goes outside the house. From here, we can take and say 35 goes into 1 zero times, 14 zero times. Now it does go into 140, but I'm not really sure how many times. If I was to take and say, well, let's get rid of this last digit, 3 would go into 14 four times, 4 would go into 14 three times. So it's going to be a number somewhere between three and four. So we're going to take and just try, I don't know, let's just try three and see what happens. Three times five, that's going to be 15. Three times three, that's going to be nine plus one is 10. And when we subtract that, we have 35 whole units left over. That means three was not the correct answer. Four is actually going to be the correct answer here. So now we're going to try the four up here. 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 3 is 12, plus a 2 from the 20 is going to give us 14, and there's your 140. This is the supporting work I'm going to have you turn in to me on lined good notes paper. Now, there's several problems you're going to be working through this Desmos activity. Make sure you're giving me good supporting work on all of it. I look forward to answering any questions you have in class tomorrow. I will see you then.